why cost management and estimation is really important in the gig era. Now you go on freelancing platform, you can buy services from anywhere in the world, at a great price and sometimes even grab a bargain too. Let's start with a point. I am aware of the grabber deal that freelancing platform offers. I am a frequent user of those platforms. I produce estimates, therefore I am a cost management specialist, I proudly claim myself cost consultant to boost my ego. Back to the point. Cost management and estimation are not something that clients can buy off the shelf as a ready-made product. I produced, back in August 2021, an estimate for a railway line that required to upgrade several stations to meet the criteria or disable users. Mobility, or access for all, is something that needs to be accessible to everyone. It is a basic human right. When I received the report to start my estimate, reading through the lines, I spotted number 4 words in a note, grade 2 listed building. Scope for that station was door widening, simple. You support the opening with adequate temporary works. Break the wall to widen the opening, reinstate the surfaces to make them smooth, and the estimate is done and dusted. Simple and easy, the client pays maybe 30 bucks, or quid, they do the estimate in few hours. The client pays what he perceives as a deal, all happy apart. The four above words, grade 2 listed building. Is it a detail? Indeed, it is so come on, it is a note in a footer of a 60 pages report. What might go wrong, thought freelancer hired. The station in question was an original design by Isambard Kingdom Brunel, with a carved stone architrave that comes from a local quarry now no longer in service. Freelance estimate gives you a ballpark figure that is attractive to the client size. Freelancer scope is to accomplish the client in the fastest time to submit the work and get approved to release the funds and carry on its activity. Freelancer estimate comes with a final figure of £5,500, at a format that is not compliant with the local standards. Mine estimate come with a final tag of £90,000, in an understandable format and compliant with the current method of measurement. Estimate included temporary works, preliminaries, planning and permission, risk and contingencies, compliance with heritage regulations. Sourced a subcontractor capable to carve and source the required stone and capable to work on listed building. In conclusion, gig economy is great, but sometimes clients should consider that not all of them can buy the services as a great deal. And, as per the above example, it is true, clients can archive great savings, but at the end, when they will go with a live project and they have the low estimated budget, they will face an unpleasant surprise that, if correctly advised in advance, the situation might have a better management and planned with the correct provisions. What do you think about gig economy for cost management and estimate? Is gigs economy a reliable solution or do you agree with my view? Leave me your thoughts and connect with me for other insights or hints.